Hi, Naomi Thierry Salgado here in Hudson, Wisconsin. I'm just outside the Phipps Center for the Arts. This is where my art show will be hanging for the next month. It's called Urban Life in the Bold North, and it's a series of oil paintings of the cityscapes of Minneapolis and St. Paul, Minnesota. Not all of the paintings fit when I went to hang the show in the Riverview Gallery here, and so the 17 studies that didn't fit, I hung in the coffee shop across the street which is called Dunn Brothers Coffee Shop. After I, we're done looking at the show here at the Phipps, I'll take you up to the coffee shop and show you those ones up there. So, hey, let's go. My show is upstairs and there's two ways to get there. One is through those stairs at the, on the other side of gallery one. However, during the pandemic, that's a down only staircase. So we're gonna go straight ahead to that dark area and there's an elevator over there. This painting is called Under It All. It is the St. Paul skyline. You can see the first building on the left. That's the most distinctive thing about St. Paul skyline. Um, this one is different than all the others. I was experimenting with glazing and overlays, so all the drips and um, spatters and um, stuff, I love that. Here are three studies. The first one is of the St. Paul Farmer's Market. It's called Yes, That One. The middle one is of a Starbucks in uh, Minneapolis near the university. Yeah, coffee shops up here in the north are important part of life. It keeps us warm in the winter. And here is Nicolet Mall in Minneapolis. Nicolet Mall has a very small street and a very wide sidewalk. Mass transit is the only one allowed to use the street and so it's very pedestrian friendly. This is a cafe in Minneapolis. This year, eating outside was very important. And so many cafes increased their outdoor eating space. And here is a young woman walking her dog. The dog is really trying to sniff and she's busy talking on the phone. And so This one is called Stop Talking. This painting is called All That Jazz. New Year's Eve 2020. My husband and I and daughter, my son had a different party to go to, but um, we went to the New Year's Eve party thrown at Orchestra Hall. First there was a concert in the Orchestra Hall and then afterwards there was a jazz band with a dance party. It was really fun. There was all these good hopes for the year 2020. If we only knew back then what was about to happen. But it was a very fun night, and this was a very excellent jazz band. I highly recommend them. I don't know the name of the jazz band. They were very good. This is a street scene in Minneapolis. It's a train station. The lady in the green umbrella is waiting for it to come. Everyone else is just walking by, passing the day. It's called Arriving in Three Minutes. So I'm guessing that's when the train's coming. This painting's called Power Walk. It's from St. Paul. I forget the street that, it, that it's on, but downtown St. Paul. This painting is a golden ratio canvas. So it's um, 18 inches tall and 30 inches wide. And then the woman is on the golden ratio, both top to bottom and side to side. So this is definitely one where I have really, really played with that concept of the golden ratio. This is another golden ratio canvas, only vertical format. And again, the man is on the golden ratio, both side to side and top to bottom. So these two are kind of related pieces, I feel like, only she is the female version and he is the male version different sizes and different formats, but um, the same compositional concept I'm playing with here. Um, this is the first building that I showed you on the skyline, and now you see it up close. This was also fun to do because instead of using the side of my knife, I actually used the bottom of my knife, and so the paint is just lightly smooshed on there in places and other places that you see the underpainting showing through.
Um, that one is called Commerce. It is pretty large. It's, um, I forget what the size that is. Maybe 23 by 38, I think. This painting is called Snowy Towers. It is of the Minneapolis skyline in winter, last winter. So, in this one, it was very fun to get lost in the reflections of one building against the other buildings. This painting is a 20 by 20. It's the smallest one of the larger sizes, of the official sizes. Um, it's called Friends Chatting. And again, this is Nicolette Mall. So you'll see the street is really small and the sidewalk's really wide. And this one was really fun to play with color, to let those blue and yellow colors play off each other. This painting is called Masked. It's a 22 by 22. The building behind there is maybe not recognizable, but it is the Landmark Center, um, right in downtown St. Paul. And this gentleman kind of summed up 2020 for me. He's an older gentleman of color, wearing a mask, uh, trying to stay healthy. He has a bag that he's carrying. I don't know what's in it, but um, it was hard to get groceries at times or toilet paper. And I'm going to guess that he was looking to source those things, so... This one is called The End of the Line. It's by the Capitol in St. Paul. You see that in the background, the Minnesota State Capitol. And then in the foreground is the train station. The train station ends right there. Let's see if I can get a little texture there for you. It's very textured with a brush, which is not usual for me. I typically use a knife, as in the woman's jacket is done with a knife but I'm getting to where I use brush sometimes and knife sometimes. Kind of fun. And there's a few drips back in the background. I'm trying to get to where I use drips more too. This one's very drippy. This one's called A Walk in the Park. This is in Mears Park in St. Paul. You know, part of city life is letting your pets go to the bathroom. So this is part of that. So I'll let you see the texture here. It's very thin here. Pure solvent actually. Normally that would not be okay to leave that because the paint will come off very easily. However, I added a layer of oil over the top of that once it dried. So don't worry, that will last forever. Up here, it's called Mail It In. As you know, the election this year was a little trickier than usual because we had to rely on the mail service as a poll site. And so we tried our best as a country, right? And in the background, you'll see the Target headquarters. It's boarded up and there are security guards outside. This is called Sunset Flag. Just a street scene at night in Minneapolis. In, not at night, in, in that twilight zone where the colors just go crazy. It's quite fun. This is called Love Each Other. It's very close to the George Floyd Memorial site. It's not the actual site, it's just like half a block away. I really think the message needs to be said that it's important that we do love each other. Red, brown, yellow, black, or white. All are precious in his sight. This one is called First Avenue in the Rain. It's kind of nationally known music venue is right there, First Avenue. And this is O'Donovan's Pub in the yellow. It's Mayo Clinic on the left there with the gray and white um, facade. 
This was really fun to do all these drippies. I'll give you a close up shot. Oh, let's see if I can get back far enough. This one is called the Metro, and I think it's from St. Paul, but I can't remember exactly where I took this reference photo. But again, I combined drippies, and then I made this interesting texture on the building. It, the building actually doesn't look like that. I just started and loved it, so I kept it. So it looks kind of like marble, but in real life, there's a bunch of windows. I kind of like this backlit where the passengers are just kind of um, suggested in the driver. Again, very drippy in the bottom. So that's the Metro. It's a 30 by 30 inch painting. This one is called Parked on the Sidewalk. Sometimes it's hard to park in Minneapolis, at least I find so. And uh, so if you ride your bike, you can park um, really easily. So this has fun texture to it also. The bike is painted with a palette knife. I think I showed you how to do that in one of my um, videos. Um, I actually painted this video, this painting for that YouTube video. So you can go back on how to paint bikes and I'll walk you through how I did that. This was the very first one I completed. Feels like a long time ago. But it's called Stain Dry. Hidden in the darkness there are all kinds of gems like these little bikes on that bus. There's some people back there. The sky the skywalks. One thing you can kind of tell about Minneapolis and St. Paul by looking at these is that there are a lot of skywalks because it gets so brutally cold in the winter. The skywalks allow you to walk around the whole city without going out into the cold. Kind of one of our trademarks of being in the bold north that we have made a way to live here comfortably. To purchase artwork, go to the administrative office at the FIPS or call 715-386-2305. These are two tools that were invaluable to me as I created this series. This is my sketchbook. It says, my sketchbook is where I tried out compositions to see if I liked them before committing to paint. It was also handy for making notes, keeping track of dates, and a place to keep the reference photo. So as you can see, I taped the photo to the side, made a value sketch, made notes, crossed off notes. And it was very helpful. This is a golden ratio calipers I used when composing the paintings in this show. I placed the focal point on either the primary or secondary golden ratio. 1.618 is the golden ratio. Golden ratio is a number found throughout nature that our eyes and minds find pleasing. Who knew artists use math? If you are curious about the golden ratio, I created a whole YouTube video about what that means, the history of it, and the way I used it in this show. One last final panorama of the room. This is the uh, Riverview Gallery inside the Phipps Center for the Arts. So as you leave the Phipps, get to the coffee shop, you just walk out to the left and then once you get to the street you look up and on that corner right there is the coffee shop, Dunn Brothers Coffee Shop. So let's head there.
Well, friends, that was it. Um, thanks for coming along with me as we looked at urban life in the bold north. Uh, what did you think? Please let me know in the comment section. Um, glad I got to share the series with you. So it's what I've been working on this past year. Um, so this is the end of the series on YouTube, Urban Life in the Bold North. Uh, I don't know which series is next, but I'll keep you posted. Uh, until we see each other again, be well, stay safe. I'll see you soon.